All right, guys. So Alexander Usyk beats Tyson Fury and becomes not only the not not only becomes the undisputed world heavyweight champion, he becomes the lineal world heavyweight champion. Guys, this is a long time coming. I keep trying to tell people, man, that Usyk is one of the best fighters in the world. That Usyk, in my opinion, is should be considered the number one pound for pound fighter if he wins this fight. Um, a lot of people don't understand how difficult it is, especially to accomplish what he's accomplished at cruiserweight and at the heavyweight division. Um, I do not give a damn. I don't. I, I. I don't. I don't give a damn. Right. Again, I respect Canelo Alvarez. I respect uh, Inouye. I respect Terence Crawford. What this man Usyk was able to pull off against dudes that were 30, 40, 50 pounds heavier than him, even going into the fight, right? It's not like, it's not like, okay, you know what? Usyk just put on a bunch of weight to kind of match the other person's weight. No, he, I mean, Usyk was to what, 223 going into this fight? I know, I know Michael Buffer said 233. He was 223. If you actually read the, uh, the, the interpretations, there's actually a video on the scale when they said his weight was like 223. Fury is a natural 270, 80 pounder, maybe even a little heavier than that, right? Like this dude is fighting against dudes easily that's 30, 40, 50 pounds heavier than him and he's beating them, right? He did it at cruiserweight. He's done it. He's doing it at heavyweight. This dude is light. And yet somehow in some way, this guy Usyk, based on, uh, he's doing it. And you know what? It's based off of technicality. It's based off his footwork. It's based off his skill. It's based off his counter punching. And just knowing when and, and, and always staying composed. Because I'm not going to lie to you. I would say from rounds three, all I mean, rounds three through five, or at least rounds three through six, that was all Fury, right? Fury was, I mean, Fury was, a, he was, a, he was killing him with the body shots. He was killing him with effective body shots. Um, he was killing him with the feints, especially when it comes to the inside feints. Um, the jab being utilized with that long reach was, 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 uh, was really, really good. He was able to kind of follow up with some really nice combinations, um, matter of fact, I think he, like, it was to a point where he, like, uh, vividly outlanded Usyk when it came to, um, when it came to those, when it came to those hook shots to the outside. Um, it was, bru I mean, I'm like, damn, I'm like, Usyk actually might lose this fight. But Usyk started to come on on the mid rounds. And I think partially this has to do with, uh, Tyson Fury. This is his fault. Because Tyson Fury, he stopped, he, for some weird ass reason, he stopped going towards the body. He stopped engaging towards the body, which was his most effective shots because it was, it was, I mean, you could see it was vividly clear to anybody that whenever Tyson Fury was able to throw effective body shots, Usyk was gasping for air, right? He was opening up, he was opening up his mouth. I mean, you could just see that dude was gasping for air, right? Those shots were hurting and those shots were extremely effective. Tyson Fury stopped going towards the body. And Usyk was able to get his momentum. Usyk was able to, well, he was able to, to, to gain confidence. And in that manner, we got, we got what we got. Where Tyson, where Tyson Fury tried to go with the uppercut, which I'm not going to lie to you, that was landing, but I, which was, well, that was landing. But Tyson Fury tried to go with the uppercut. Usyk was able to kind of counter it uh, with the, in, well, Usyk was able to kind of counter it with the inside hook. Tyson Fury tried to follow it up. With, a, with like you know, with another with, with with kind of not not really a jab, but he tried to follow it up with another kind of hit with, with another with another kind of hit, and Usyk was able to get him over the top, smacked him over the top, which was able to kind of stun him, and boom. I mean, I'm I'm gonna be completely honest. He should have went down. He should have went down, and that fight arguably could have been stopped, right? Because that dude was on the ropes three times, and by rule, he could have been. I mean, literally, the the ropes were protecting that dude. Uh, from uh, were protecting him from falling down. That should have been you. That could have been called a knockdown from the first time. And Usyk was able to go in there, pummel him with effective shots, wobble him constantly. That fight could have been stopped. It should have been stopped, honestly. Um, but it is what it is, man. I mean, like I said, I was I was screaming, I was pissed off because I'm like, wait a minute. But of course, he was down. He was down. I I'm gonna take it back. It was he was down a little bit, but I was pissed off because I'm like, dude, Usyk was about to knock him out. He was about to KO his ass, right? This quote-unquote weak puncher, according to a lot of boxing fans, was about to do something that Deontay Wilder, that Deontay Wilder and Vladimir Klitschko couldn't do, which was knock his ass out. He was about to do it. And, well, 
you know what? I'll go back on Deontay Wilder. Yeah, because I ain't gonna lie. The first time that should have been a knockdown. That was one of the longest count out count countdowns I've ever seen in my life. That should have been a, a KO for Deontay Wilder, but it is what it is. Um, but Usyk, man, I mean, ever since then, man, he just stepped on the gas, right? The mid rounds is where he won, right? I would, I give Usyk the seven, uh, seven. I give, I mean, like I said, you can make an argument. Usyk won seven through eleven. Uh, the twelfth round, you could have maybe gave that to Fury. There's an argument for it. Honestly, knowing Saudi Arabia, knowing how the, I ain't gonna lie to these ref, these the, the referees were saving uh, a Fury, uh, especially when it came to hitting him in the back of the fucking head constantly, and Usyk is trying to point it out, but they're not. I, again, he's not. I mean, it's just. It's, I think he only gave him like what one or two warnings. It's I don't know. Like it was kind of clear and obvious. Tyson Fury is a favorite in Saudi Arabia, right? And but thankfully, thankfully, thankfully. God came through and gave Usyk the victory because this should have been his victory. I thought it probably was going to be a draw or they were going to give this fight to Fury. Especially because how he looked in the early rounds of the fight. I'm like, they're probably going to give this shit to Fury because of his showboating and because of the the the, the, the cockiness he was able to display in the ring and the, and the antics. That probably could have swayed the judge to say, you know what? These even though even though Usyk is hitting him with the shots, uh, is, is, is hitting him with the, with the inside shots of the body, it's not really even hurting him. So, but thankfully, God came through. These judges were fair. And, you know, for the most part, at least two of the judges gave Usyk the victory. And honestly, what won him these, again, even though I think Fury definitely won the early rounds, it wasn't 10-8 rounds. Usyk, you can make an argument that he had two 10-8 rounds in this fight. And, um, yeah, I mean, Usyk busted him up. He busted him up. He had a, a, a Fury had a cut an, uh, under his eyebrow. His, I think it, Fury's nose might have been broken. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I'm gonna have to go back and watch the fight. But he kept poking that nose, man. He kept swiping it. Um, his nose might have been broken in the first round, or maybe even going into this fight. I'm not too sure. But Usyk won this fight. Of course, Fury. I mean, like I said, you're a competitor. You, you know, you're a competitor. You fought. Uh, uh, you know, uh, you, you fought um, as hard as you could. You fought valiantly. So, you know, of course, Tyson Fury thinks that he's won this fight. Um, but. It is what it is, man. Usyk won. He is the undisputed champion. He is, he is the lineal world heavyweight champion of the world. And now we're going to get the rematch, right? We're going to get the rematch in October. So, but right now, I'm not going to lie to you. I mean, a, 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 as of this moment, Usyk, in my opinion, is the number one pound for pound fighter in the world. Because I don't know how, I, I don't think people realize how difficult it is to go undisputed at cruiserweight and then jump all the way up to heavyweight where dudes are 40, 50, 60, 70 pounds heavier. There is no, I mean, it's, I mean, I mean, there is a weight limit, but these dudes are 300 pounds, 280, 270, 260. These dudes are giants. And Usyk is, is going in there barely over 200 pounds, right? And he's going in there and whooping these dudes ass. I mean, he beat Anthony Joshua, um, who was a three, right? Who, right? Who won three belt at, at heavyweight. He was known as the best heavyweight in the world at some point and he went up there and beat Tyson Fury I mean I'm not I mean if he beats Tyson I mean I mean what do you I mean people people were claiming at some point that Tyson Fury was a top 10 heavyweight of all time some people were saying that he was the greatest heavyweight of all time even though if you look at his track record he only beat Vladimir Klitschko and he beat fucking Deontay Wilder and I mean let's be honest who did Deontay Wilder beat who was a legendary name that Deontay Wilder beat at heavyweight there was none right so, but Usyk's got two on his resume. He's got the greatest resume out of any heavyweight fighter. And so he's, he beat Joshua twice. Joshua, in my opinion, is the, Joshua, in my opinion, it would kill Fury. Like what I saw today, guys, I, I, I've always felt that uh, Joshua would fuck up uh, Usyk. I'm, I'm sorry, that uh, Joshua would fuck up Fury if they ever were able to get in the ring. Oh, I'm, I'm, I am 100% confident that Joshua would absolutely destroy Fury in a Fury if they were able to box. Um, but Usyk beat that dude twice, and he beat a better version of him when they fought the second time. He's, he, he was able to finally get it done today against a much bigger fighter, and he was able to get the job done. So if he beats Fury again in October, I mean, I mean, his legacy is stamped. I mean, his legacy is already stamped. But at this point, you're trying to enhance. You're trying to literally like, where does he rank among heavyweight fighters of all time? And remember, guys, this Usyk has four fights. He has four fights at heavyweight. He hasn't been fighting at heavyweight his entire career. He has four heavyweight fights. And he literally could go down as a top 10 heavyweight, maybe even a top five heavyweight 
of all time just based off of his resume alone for what he was able to accomplish and definitely as a pound for pound fighter one of the greatest fighters of all time shout out to alexander Usyk. shout out to tyson fury right because that was a tremendous fight an all-time classic heavyweight bout we need more of these matchups and fight in boxing um but overall wise great fight i'll catch you guys later